Hey out there, guys. Um, this is Wake Angel 2001. Um, you know, there was a thing I was working on during those last couple of figures that I posted up here, so I figured I'd share it right now. It was the restoration of Tails Man, uh, you know, the first of the roboticized masters. Um, I made Tails Man using Super Sculpey and, um, and Anita's and Testor's paints, which, you know, all those materials just weren't as durable as the stuff I use these days. And as a result, Tails Man started to go into a state of disrepair, um, as you can plainly see. I replaced his, uh, his Super Sculpey helmet with one made out of much more durable epoxy sculpt, and repainted him with the Citadel paints, which is less prone to getting sticky and gathering dust since it doesn't require a sealant. Um, although the ears, the crest, and the faceplate are still, you know, they're still, um, the original Super Sculpey material, I didn't have to worry about them cracking and, uh, losing their ability to hold on to the ears because, you know, they don't have to support any weight and they're not wrapped structurally around the head. Um, the body is a similar case. Um, oh, by the way, if you're wondering the, the state, like, like, uh, since I had used paints that required a sealant, um, on some of the parts where there was Super Sculpey, it had grown a little bit sticky, and it, and dust had stuck to it, making it look very drab, and, uh, you know, cracks were starting to form in some places, and I hate it when that happens. Uh, the body here, as you can see, um, those little wings that he has, uh, were made out of craft foam, but they were made out of black craft foam, which I had painted. Uh, the thing is, I had painted them with Testor's paint, which um, apparently has this effect on craft foam where it hardens it, and it became brittle, so instead of bending, it, you know, cracked, which was weird. I never thought I'd see craft foam crack. So I replaced those wings with new wings, this time they're made out of native white craft foam, and I painted them with Citadel paints, so hopefully this should prevent any new cracks from forming. I also had to make him new shoulder pads because the same deal. The, um... The paint was chipping off of the black, the black, um, uh, you know, craft foam, and they were no longer white and pristine. But now that they're made out of white, that will never actually happen. Besides the damage to the head, the legs are where the cracks are most obvious. Uh, you can see that they look like hairline fractures here, but they were much more obvious to the naked eye. Uh, so I pretty much had to cut off all this, su all this uh, super sculpey here and replace it with epoxy sculpt. I also painted the. I also painted them with Citadel paints so that, you know, that they look glossier and shinier. Uh, reassembled, Tailsman is once again in, in his brand new condition. Uh, he is pristine and looks uh, just as great as he always did. Um, so once again, the roboticized masters can stand shoulder to shoulder as a unit. It, um, oh, you, you may have noticed a little spot in the back of Tails' ear in the last picture. That is, uh, that was a drop of water from my paint water. It got in his ear while I was finishing up the figure. I didn't notice it until after I took the picture, but I just painted over it so it's white again.